risks. Engineers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are struggling to stop hundreds of tons of radioactive groundwater from seeping into the Pacific Ocean every day. Crews have started pumping some of the water from the ground as a temporary measure to contain the leak. Government officials say about 1,000 tons of groundwater could be flowing from a hillside into the soil below the plant every day. Of that, about a third filters through a contaminated area and is laced with radioactive substances. Then it seeps into the sea. 400 tons of water is leaking into the basements of the buildings housing the reactors. That water is also contaminated and it's being pumped out and stored. Crews at the plant have been injecting soil hardening chemicals into the ground on part of the site to stop the water leaking into the ocean. But there are concerns this effort may be pushing water levels higher above the barrier. TEPCO workers are trying to counter this effect by pumping out some of the water from a new well. They're also planning to sink about 30 five-meter-long pipes into the ground. Workers will use the pipes to pump out groundwater starting next week. They hope to drain 100 tons per day. Long term, they're considering freezing the soil beneath the buildings. Crews would bury pipes and inside them circulate coolant kept below freezing temperatures. The frozen soil will act as a dam to prevent groundwater from reaching the contaminated area, but it could take one to two years to complete the project and maintaining the cooling operations will be extremely costly. Japanese leaders say they want to accelerate the cleanup of communities affected by the nuclear accident. A large area remains contaminated with radiation, and the government has yet to solve the issue of where to store radioactive waste. Environment Ministry officials' plan will reinforce the team of 430 government employees assigned to the cleanup. The new additions have expertise in public works projects and land purchases. Their mission will be to build provisional storage sites to hold contaminated soil and other waste. Municipal authorities are reluctant to host such facilities because of fears about radiation. Officials in charge of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant say they've run into another problem. They say a wall they built to stop contaminated groundwater from seeping into the sea has failed. The industry ministry estimates that 300 tons of tainted groundwater are flowing into the Pacific Ocean every day. Engineers from Tokyo Electric Power Company injected chemicals into the earth to harden it and create an underground wall. But they were unable to solidify the soil closest to the surface. surface. The TEPCO workers recently dug a well just inside a new wall to monitor the water level. They found it was slightly higher than the top of the wall. The workers are pumping out contaminated groundwater as a temporary measure. Officials with the International Atomic Energy Agency say Japanese authorities are keeping them informed about the radioactive water leakage. They released a statement saying they are keeping track of the problem and that Japanese officials had explained their countermeasures. Experts from the IAEA visited the plant in April to assess the situation. They urged operators to review their strategy for dealing with accumulated water. They said it was vital to have measures in place to detect leaks promptly and mitigate their consequences.